Hey, it's Bill the Biofeed Gap back guy up here in Northern California. And so I want to uh, thank you for tuning in. And uh, we're going to check out the perverse energy factor. And so usually uh, my my alpha and beta radiation levels are around 100 for the last year or so they've been up around 200 to 250 uh, surprisingly they've gone down in uh, my risk profile it's it shows radiation um, about 20 items down the line so that's good because sometimes it's shown up uh, about five items down the line and so the gamma radiation is coming up at 164 which is more of a normal for me here in Northern California and so we're looking at high is of course one of the highs uh, well that's the gamma gamma radiation is 164 and the alpha and the beta radiation is 205 uh, so those are some high items that came up on this um, and so I always make a report after I um, click on anything normally over 150 in this case. And I always make a report. And so let's see. What else? Okay, well, let's go into homotoxicology. And we're seeing amalgam fillings coming up fairly high, 132. Environmental toxins 137, halogen, halogens, chlorine, fluoride is 140, heavy metals is 124. So the heavy metals may be related to the uh, Fukushima fallout. <clears throat> and here we see radiation in only 89 which is uh, uh, good because it's not over a hundred I've been very concerned about that lately because the reports are still coming in about the release of radiation from Fukushima And so, anyway, we just go into electrophysiological therapeutics here, and I'm going to activate the body viewer and check the body viewer real quick So it's still working on the environmental toxins.
And so, it's funny, it says dehydration detected. And I just had like two big glasses of water. Okay, so that's, I just wanted to kind of go over a couple of little things here about uh, the radiation. So, we're not actually seeing very much effect from radiation. Now, it may be reading some different types of radiation. I'm not sure if... Um, this device is able to detect any hot po hot, po hot particles in my body. Um, and these are the... This is like the cesium-138 that sort of burns on a macroscopic level. And so here in the virtual DR, it's not showing anything about radiation as well, which is encouraging so anyway thanks for watching if you're interested in biofeedback you can get a hold of me at laptops repaired at yahoo.com and I also do subspace remote sessions with a voice print and or a hair sample and you can contact me at 707-445-1591 I also have a website it's called www.bodyelectric.webs.com and thanks again for watching.